Hi, this is Todd Geis with Geist Interactive, and today we're going to take a look at Master Detail version 2. So Master Detail version 1 was released on Modular FileMaker uh, about a year ago or so, and uh, I finally got around to updating it, adding a couple new features, um, and that's what I want to talk about today. So um, just a brief recap. So Master Detail is basically this pattern where you have a list view on the left and you have a detail view on the right. And you can see that um, as I click on these guys and scroll around this portal, we actually uh, we get the record that I'm selecting here in the, in the center. Um, the cool thing about this is that even the arrow keys work, so I can use uh, the navigation keys and it still scrolls the portal and scrolls the record. And the reason is, is because I am on this record. We're not using a relationship from, say, a session record or a central, central record uh, to my found set of of um, of contacts, we're actually uh, we're actually on the customer records here, not contacts, or customer records. Uh, and so um, I can click around and move like I normally would, and I can do normal things like do a find and let's find all the matching records in Chicago. And there they are. It says I found 465 records, and they're all here in this portal. So this is Master Detail. Now the cool thing about uh, this implementation of Master Detail is that the found set stays in sync with the portal. As you just saw, I did a find and the results of the find were immediately shown in the portal here where you could click around and navigate through them. Um, so I can do another find, like I can find, uh, let's find for Matt. And so we found 117 records that have Matt somewhere in them. And there they are right there. So th this is pretty cool. Um, now that, what I've shown so far isn't really new. We had this all in, in the first version. Um, what's changed is a couple of things, and I'll go into that right now. Uh, I'm going to scroll off to the right here. The master detail is configured off screen by basically attaching field objects to underlying fields. Um, this is something we did last year with um, our last time with the first version, and we've extended it here. So uh, we tell the master detail scripts that uh, which field is the primary key of this table by simply assigning it to this um, table object here, um, to this field, sorry, this field in the underlying table there. And we also have a couple other settings that we do, including four other fields. So we're capturing now, instead of just um, the ID as we did in the first version of Master Detail, we are now capturing uh, all four fields into a virtual list, and that is what is being displayed here on the left. So if you want to look at that data in the data viewer, here is what that, oh, that's not it. Here's what that data looks like. And uh, so this is 1,000 or 117 records. And we've got an ID first, and then the, um, the rest of the data is separated out uh, with pipes, which is what we're using to separate each field in each record. So each line is a record, and then each field is separated by a pipe. Um, so that's new. And the reason we can do that is because Hyperlist uh, the technology behind gathering uh, fields into a list was updated to include up to five fields. So we're saying to Master Detail, hey, gather the ID plus four fields, and we're showing those right here uh, in the portal using the virtual list technique. Now, what's really cool about this is that, um, and what's new, very new, compared to last year's version, is that we're no longer even having to go to the database uh, to, to, to show these records. Um, and if I look at the relationship here, we have a relationship from our found count field over to our master detail row table. And in the other last year's implementation, we had to have another ver another copy of customers out here that we showed all of the fields from. And uh, in this case, we don't. So this is pretty fast. It's pretty snappy. So all this data is virtual. It's a pure virtual list. We're showing no data from any any related fields. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I think what we're going to do next is we'll take a look at moving this code into uh, an empty table that just has some fields in it and some data in it so we can see how fast it is to move into another file. And then we'll take a couple of um, we'll take a couple of looks at some other features of Master Detail in that new file. All right, so um, I'm going to open up another file here. And this is just um, a really empty file. There's no scripts. There's just our table, our single table in here that has our data in it, and it's got, um, it's got 100 records, nothing, uh, nothing too large here, but it'll, it'll prove the point. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to move the code from our master detail um, module file into the items file and, uh, and get it working and see how fast it is. So first I'm just going to prep this layout. I'm going to get rid of the footer and the header because I don't need them here. We're just going to simplify a little bit. We'll move this over. We will, let's see, I'm not going to show the log fields, so we'll get rid of those. Okay, get rid of that. All right, so that's that. That's good start. Okay, so first thing we have to do is we're going to have to move in the master details um, rows table, which stores our virtual list or which displays our virtual list. So we'll go into here and we will grab the uh, table. I'm just going to copy it. And I'm going to go in here to the tables and paste it. Um, it's empty right now, but we're going to fill it up in just a minute. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is grab the two fields that we need here. Um, now, these are, these are in the customer's table in this case. Um, they don't have to be in the data table. They could be in some other utility table. And uh, if I have a chance, I'll do another video on what that can look like down the road. But for now, we're just going to stick them right in the data table, make it a little easier. And then I'm going to create my relationship between my uh, found count field and my master details rows end field. And we're just going to set that to be greater than or equal to and change that so that will work. And um, let's see, we did the we did the data, we did the relationships, so now we just need to do the script. So we'll grab our, um, we're gonna, I'm just gonna grab this modules folder. It, would in, it contains the master details 2.0 module and the hyperlist module, which it depends on. And we'll paste that in there. All right, uh, next thing I can do is move in my uh, layout objects. So let's do that. So let's see, I'm going to start by copying all, but then I don't need these fields. So I'm going to, whoops, I lost it. I'm going to start that way and we'll get rid of those fields. So there we go. So I'm copying everything that was there on that layout. Switching to my new file and going to layout mode and paste. Say so yes. And there that drops that there. Okay, most of that should have worked pretty well, but we do have to configure master detail to use this new, um, to work in this new scenario. So let's do that. We can do that here. First, we set the primary key. Then we're going to set that uh, found count field right there. And these are all detailed. The directions are right here on the layout, which is one of the things I love about these off-screen layouts is we can leave directions for ourselves for later on. We're also going to need to attach the search field, so we'll do that. And then let's let's um, pick a couple of fields here. Uh, let's pick um, code, and let's pick price, and let's just pick description. And we're not going to use the fifth field. So what I want to do is just change the name. Um, so it's not located by the code, so I'm just going to add a not used there uh, to the end of that. So we're not going to use it, we'll leave it blank, and that should be just fine. So the last thing I'm going to need to do is attach all the script triggers. So we will do that here. We're going to go into master detail. We're going to go into the uh, trigger section, and we'll set up that and we'll do the record commit and then we'll do layout enter and that same one gets put on mode enter on mode enter which is browse mode there it is okay all right now i want to do let's see i think that should do it now one thing we have to do is set up our virtual rows table and so we're going to do that. There's a script already ready to do that right in the master detail configuration. It says reset master detail rows table. So what that's going to do is populate our master detail rows table with 1,000 records. And we're only going to display 1,000 records in, uh, in our found set. We don't need more than that, really. So that should have done it. So let's just go over there and check. And sure enough, there we have 1,000. So we should be good there. So if I um, click on find all, we should find all records. 
Okay, so um, so there it is. It's working. We made one mistake. Uh, the name field or the description field is empty in this sample data set. So we're going to change this to name, and that is going to um, that's going to change. So there we go. So there's our there's our three our three fields showing up on our layout, just as we had before. Now we might want to change the way we're not using on this layout. We're not using a fifth field, so we can get rid of that. And um, we can just stretch that out so it looks a little better. All right, so there, it's working. So we moved it all in and it was really pretty simple to do. So, um, and this should work exactly the same way as it did before. Um, we've got uh, showing our message. There's one out of 105 found and it's all showing up there, working really well. Um, so one of the other things I wanted to show here are two new, or let's see, one other new feature that we've added to Master Detail. And that is, uh, we've added a virtual trigger. Now I've talked about virtual triggers a little bit before, um, but they're really a way of adding a trigger that's timed when you want it to fire, not, not one of the predefined uh, events that FileMaker gives you to attach scripts to. So what I wanna do is, I would like these records to be sorted uh, let's say let's say let's make them sorted by item by item uh, name before uh, in this portal and right now they're not so um, I want to do that as part of this process so what I'm going to do is just create a script here that where we will sort sort by let's do code let's get rid of that one clear do code okay so that should do it. Let's call this um, before. Let's call it, what's a virtu it's a virtual trigger before found set capture. So what this is going to do is this script is actually going to run just before we capture the found set to display in the virtual list. And the way that we do that is we attach it to this button over here in this off screen area. And it's, it's uh, labeled virtual trigger. And what we have to do is set the script trigger, and we're going to set its on object exit to be this guy right there. So I almost always forget, and I did here, I always forget to uncheck or to check perform without dialog so we don't see that. So now what's going to happen is at the appropriate time within the code when this runs, um, these guys are going to sort, and you can see that they did. So now I didn't do anything other than just add that script to the virtual script trigger button. It just, um, that, that script is fired at the appropriate point within the master detail code. So I didn't have to go into the master detail code and mess with it at all. I just had to add it to this layout um, right here, which means that I can have a different source script on every layout that I want to use my master detail um, setup with. And in fact, I can use this exact same master detail module. Uh, I'll have to make a few modifications, tweak for the layouts, you know, for... Uh, maybe using different numbers of fields, etc. But I can use it for as many tables as I want in my system, and it will it will just work. So the last thing I wanted to show um, is let's say we wanted to have this image show up over here in this in the portal row. Now uh, we're we're capturing the found set as a virtual list, so it's showing up as all as all data. So if we look at this here, we can see that's the stuff, right? So we can't really put easily put an image in there. Now we could capture it as a base64 encoded image and then decode it and do all that but that would that would be a lot of overhead so we're gonna do one very simple thing and this works if you just want to show you know one field from the original table that's not captured in the found it's not captured in the virtual list detail uh, so what I'm going to do is just create another copy of items and I'm going to create a relationship from ID in the master details rows that's going to hold the master de it's going to hold the the primary key for this record for this uh, table to the ID field over here and now I can drop into layout mode or I'm already in layout mode I can just make a little room over here for a new field let's get a new field and let's get that image field and let's see let's pick a style that's kind of minimal we'll drag it over here onto the portal Let's make sure we're selecting it. We want to go through that items too, that new one we just made to the image. 
and we'll just you know kind of put it in there the way we want it to um, I'm gonna bring this top button to the top so that it's all over everything and then drag it back over and uh, there's our images so they're showing up just fine um, just the way we, we want them to so that is a look at master detail version 2.0 we looked at uh, how easy it is to move it into a file, we looked at how easy it is to configure, and we looked at how we can use things like virtual triggers to add a little extra functionality to different layouts um, in our system. All right, so there's one more feature I wanted to uh, talk about in Master Detail 2.0, um, and it has to do with the number of records that you want to display in this portal. In the, in the first version, we actually shipped it with, you could have 20,000 or 40,000 records showing there. And that's really rather silly. You would never really want to show that many records to a user in this scenario. So we've added a couple of things to make that a little bit easier to deal with in Master Detail version two. Um, it automatically detects the number of records that are in your Master Details rows table. So we have a thousand here. So if we find all, it's going to, it's only going to find the first 1,000 records and it's going to show down here in the bottom it's going to tell us that we've only, we're only showing the first 1,000 records out of um, 10,101 found and, uh, and that's it. So if you, do, if you do a find that has more than 1,000 records, you're going to get this messaging down here telling you that it's automatically been limited. Um, but if you do a find that has less than 1,000 records in it, a found set, it's going to just show that 616 found out of 1,101 could be found uh, only for the ones that are in New York. And so that automatically picks up the limit that's set by the master detail rows. The number of rows is gonna be your limit. And if you want a bigger limit or a smaller limit, you can do that by adjusting the number of records that is in the master details rows table. And we've added a script to make that easy in master, in, uh, in here we have reset master detail rows table. So you can clear out the number of records and you can set this limit to be whatever you like and run this script and, um, and that will do it. That will set it to be whatever you like. So just delete all the records and then run this script whatever limit you want and that's, uh, that will um, flow through all the way through to how master detail uh, functions. So that's it on, uh, on the automatic limit detection feature in Master Detail 2.0. That's it. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.